we're going to go over how to use Docstar. So at the main page here, we're just going to log in. At this point, we've got a couple tabs across the top. We've got a home uh, tab, retrieve, capture, workflow, and admin. Admin is the only thing you can do is change your password. <clears throat> so the two keys we're really going to be using will be in the capture and workflow feature. Right here you can see that I've already uploaded a document. Um, I merged it earlier. It was originally six documents. I'll show you how we'll do that, but wanted you to go ahead and see something in place. You've got 21 pages and you can actually just go through and view it. One thing we're not going to worry with is this left tab. Uh, no reason to even have it open or to look at it. So with this storage software, we're going to go to the capture feature. One thing you want to make sure you've done is watch the Docstar Client Eclipse instruction video. You'll see why in a second, why it's important. In here, you'll probably never use the scan device because you will always have documents that are PDFs. So we want to make sure that this arrow says Agent Files. We're going to browse our computer uh, drive and locate the files that we want to use. Since I've downloaded the client Eclipse, I can upload two documents at one time. This takes a little bit of time depending on the size files they are. And you just have to hold tight. So as you can see, I've got one file and the second. So you can view them. Now, once you check both boxes here, you go to the list action tab. If you want to merge them, if you decide that you don't want to merge them, that's fine also. But it makes it a lot easier if you do merge. So I'm going to merge those two files as one. Then I'm going to submit it. If you've downloaded the client Eclipse piece, what will happen is uh, in the workflow section here to the left allows me to fill all the information in that I need about this document. Now since I've already uploaded some other documents a couple, little bit ago, what I want to do is come over here back to workflow. Anything in workflow means it's waiting on the agent or waiting on me to do something with it. It has not gone to Joanne, it's just stored in Docstar. So I want to check both boxes here, list action, and we're going to view them. Now right here is telling me I've got two documents, one that was already in the workflow and the second one was the one I uploaded. Anytime you're filling in the information on the left side, we're just going to put the agent's name, category, whether it's a list or a sale, document type. One of the documents has to either be a listing checklist or a sales checklist anytime you uh, upload something into Docstar before you send to the broker. So this is actually going to be a sales checklist. Put the date in. You have to include the client's name and then the property address. I don't know if you noticed, but as you start to type in numbers, they will automatically pop up. Um, this address has not been in the system yet, so once I submit it in here, then it will be here um, for future reference if I have to add other addendums or anything like that. So from here, I'm just going to submit the first document. We've got all the information filled in. Then it automatically goes to the second document that I just uploaded. So I have to go through and fill the same information again, which is why it would be useful to merge those documents in the beginning. Um, and this actually is just going to be addendums. Uh, it will attach itself to the next or, or to the previous document when 
I connect it to the same address. So once the property address is the same, as long as this document um, has the same address as a previous one with a sales checklist, when I hit submit, both of them will go to the broker. Now if you see the workflow tab, it's actually empty because I've done everything I need to. Um, usually asked sometimes, how do you find a document? If I just go up here into the search tab, I know the address was 2021 and search it. Then it will show you my folder and the two files that were associated with it in the retrieve tab. One thing to also remember to help you out with uh, the workflow is there's another Docstar workflow refresh instructions video that you'll need to watch. It's only about a minute long. And that's how you use Docstar.